So we're here with uh, Wirt Electronic, and uh, who are you? Hi, this is Wirt Electronic from Germany. Uh, we are manufacturing of passive components like inductors, ferrites, capacitors. And today on the Energy Harvesting IDT show, we have a demonstration here for energy harvesting. I will put now the jumper to motion and I will generate with a small generator, I will generate some electricity, just vibrating, and start to operate a 50 megahertz processor from Silicon Labs, a giant gecko, and measuring right now the temperature. This is the ARM Cortex M0 Plus? This is the ARM Cortex M3 core right M3? now. M3? M3 is a giant gecko one. And what's going on in here? And here inside is a, uh, it's a magnet, magnet balance between two coils and just move from one to one. It's very simple like this, it's moving like this. Another demonstration, it is a thermoelectric electricity. So I will move the jumper to the thermoelectricity. What are you guys doing here? Well, uh, right now he's in the middle of the... I press the reset button to make it empty and now I will put my hand on the thermoelectric generator and just with my body heat temperature and the delta T of minimum 5 degrees Celsius, it starts to operate a 50 megahertz processor powered only from my body temperature. This is a Cortex M3, you can power it just from your body temperature? Yes, because it, it has a deep sleep mode. I have not put the jump in the right position. No. Yeah, okay. right so it takes a little while to get started? Or? It's, I, I, need oh, to, I need to charge the capacitor on input. It has an input capacity of 100 microfarad, and that's the reason why it takes that. But the advantage is that if I take the hand away now, the capacity is full. So what, which part do you make about this? <laughs> so we are manufacturing the inductors. We need a special inductor, which is uh, the, for the storage, with the loss, less losses possible. We are manufacturing this kind of MAPI inductor, which is very, very low core losses. And additional, it must be the impedance matched of the input from the DC-DC converter. And for this reason, we have this uh, very small 1 to 100 energy harvesting inductors for that. And uh, are you showing some other stuff here? Yeah, this is a new generation, a new generation from linear technology. Uh, it will be... It will yeah. be um, uh, new chips are on, already on the market and these new chips are possible to harvest uh, from different sources at the same time. You can harvest solar, you can harvest thermoelectric, you can harvest um, um, piezo or inductive in the same time. The chip himself has a, a balancer for charging a supercapacitor and all amount of this energy, if the supercapacitor is full, it can transform again to the capacity bank or power again different processor. And Silicon Labs come out with a new generation of uh, processor. This is a tiny Gecko, the EZR32 generation, which built in into the processor have already the RF modules. This is a demonstration board with a memory display. Now it's measuring the temperature and the humidity. And because the board is transmitting 8, 6, 8 megahertz, it needs a battery right now operation. But like you can see, you have the connector and we can connect with the power board from Linear and we can harvest energy and transfer this energy to the computer or to a base station. This is the ARM Cortex M... Uh... This is the ARM Cortex M0. Uh, M0? M0, yes. So very low power stuff. This is what you're showing here. It's in a deep sleep mode even can go down to 150 nanoamps and during the operation is one milliamp. All right so uh, your company you uh, you, uh, you have all these what you, you sell you sell all this stuff? We are manufacturing inductance, ferrites, capacitor, transformer, even multi-layer chip antennas. This is our portfolio in the passive components. And what's gonna happen in the future? Well in the future wearables, Internet of Things, it will make that uh, everything go wireless everything go less power consumption so it will be not need to change always the battery you just can take the energy from surrounding you and power your electricity and it's coming uh, people are going to get energy harvesting right everywhere now, everything what you see here is standard it's you just can take it and use it but how about mass production for consumer everybody's going to have this stuff the mass production okay we are manufacturing just, just the components himself now it just depends on the industry of the home appliance if they start to make this mass uh, mass production the components are on the market, the chips are on the market, you just have to put A plus B together and you have the C.